What happened to the paperless office? The appearance of the computer was supposed to remove the need for paper in the office, but most people receive more paper documents than ever before. If you are to avoid drowning in a sea of paper, you need a straightforward and efficient technique for managing it. Follow along as one employer, let's call her Jane, thinks about how she handles her paperwork. The paperwork I receive distracts me from the task in hand and I usually ignore it for as long as possible, she says. I keep nearly all the documents that land on my desk. I have a large office with plenty of drawer and cupboard space, so this is not a problem. Ignoring paperwork that lands on your desk or aiming to store it all are simply two different ways of failing to manage it. Instead, there is a simple but powerful technique for managing paperwork. Make a prompt decision about the fate of each document you receive, based on whether it should be filed, passed on, thrown away, or needs to be read. The choices contained in the file, pass on, throw away, and read technique are not, of course, necessarily mutually exclusive. Some documents will need reading thoroughly before filing or passing on. Others will not. It may or may not be immediately clear whether a document should be treated as trash. It is certainly the case, however, that a cursory look will tell you all you need to know about many documents. A lot of paperwork that comes across your desk is not worth the time it would take you to read it. So I'm sure you have taken my advice and you wrote down a list of words to remind yourself of a simple technique that will enable you to manage the paperwork you receive efficiently. What words are on your list? Is it file, ignore, pass on, throw away, keep or read? The words file, pass on, throw away, read will remind you of a simple technique for managing your paperwork. Let's check together. Option one, this choice is correct. File is a simple action to take with new paperwork. This is the action for paperwork that requires you to put it away for future action. Option two, this choice is incorrect. Ignore is not a simple action to take with new paperwork. Paperwork needs to be filtered and acted upon to save time. It should be filed, passed on, thrown away or read. Option three, this choice is correct. Pass on is a simple action to take with new paperwork. This is paperwork that may be informational or that does not require action on your part. Forward this paperwork as soon as possible. Option 4. This choice is correct. Throw away is a simple action to take with new paperwork. A cursory look will tell you all you need to know about many documents. Those that do not require action should be discarded. Option 5. This choice is incorrect. Keep is not a simple action to take with new paperwork. Paperwork needs to be filtered and acted upon to save time. It should be filed, passed on, thrown away or read. Option six, this choice is correct. Read is a simple action to take with new paperwork. This helps determine paperwork that requires more than a cursory inspection on your part. Here are two tips. Do not keep any hard copies of electronically generated documents that you receive. For example, emails or reports. Do not make hard copies of documents that you write on your computer. Ken is a busy man and he likes the file, pass on, throw away, read technique. He knows that it is not the only paper management system on the market, but it has served him well, allowing him to act on each document he received with a minimum of fuss and a maximum of speed. It ensures that he does not waste time. This is what he can say about his paper handling routine. First file. I only file a document if I am likely to need it in the future. Second pass on. I pass on a document if it needs to be read by someone else. Third throw away. I throw away any document that is not relevant to me or a colleague. And fourth read. I read short documents immediately. I keep longer documents for later reading. Are you using the same procedure? Do you have a different one that works? Please share. Time for some practice. John's four colleagues tell him that they use something called a file, pass on, throw away, read technique to manage their paperwork. 
He believed that this system could help him, but unfortunately, when he asked them how the system works, they all describe it differently. Which approach should he adopt? You have these options. First, I read each document and then file it unless it needs to be read by a colleague, in which case I pass it on. Two, I pass documents on if colleagues need them. Read short ones immediately, but save long ones for later. I discard things that no one needs to read and file anything I'll need in the future. Three, I decide whether a document needs to be kept or can be thrown out. When I need to read a document, I do so immediately. I then file the document or pass it on to a colleague who needs it. 4. I read short documents at once, but longer documents I store for later reading. Once I read it, I file any document I may need again. Take your time before answering, stop for a second the video and think about it. File documents that you will probably need later. Only read short documents at once, throw out those that are not relevant to anyone and pass on documents that others need to read. Now let's see together. Option 1. This choice is incorrect. Reading each document will not save time. Reading an entire document is unnecessary. Quickly scanning a document will help determine its relevance. If it needs to be completely read, put it away for later. Option 2. This choice is correct. John should adopt this strategy. He has developed a quick filtering process for his paperwork. Making quick decisions based on scanning a document and devoting more time to longer ones helps save time. Option 3. This choice is incorrect. John should not adopt this approach. Paperwork needs to be filtered to determine its relevance. Then it should be filed, passed on, throw away or read. Option 4. This choice is incorrect. John should not adopt this approach. This approach does not have you pass on paperwork that others may need to view. Great. And this is not all. To give you a break, I will continue this topic in the next video. More examples and one key study to come. See you there!